Okay, class, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Unless, of course, you're a procrastinator, then it's Tuesday night. But anyway, so I'm going to go through this quickly. We're going to be doing parameter changes all a lot. So if you don't understand it all right away, you will. You will. So first of all, we're going to talk about uh, quadratic functions. We're going to use parameter changes. So right on the top of your paper, go ahead and write this down. Y equals... Hold on, we got an interruption. All right, I'm back. Yes, that was like a 10 minute tutorial there on restricting domain. Anyway, back to this problem. All right, so parameter changes of quadratic functions. So what you're gonna learn today is the parent of a quadratic function. The parent is y equals x squared. It is known as the parent function. You should have learned that in Algebra 1. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to transform the parent using parameter changes. Three parameters we're going to look at, A, H, and K. The number on the end, K, outside of the parentheses, moves the parent up and down. So K moves the parent up and down. Okay? If it's plus, it moves it up. If it's minus, it moves it down. So let's look at an example. Look at number three. Here is a K value. Notice it's not in parentheses. Here's the parentheses. It's not in parentheses. It's on the end. So it is a parameter that moves the function up or down. Plus, it moves the function up. So we say, to, to describe it, we say it translated the parent the parent function translated two units up. Okay? All right, let's talk about another parameter. H. This number shifts or translates the parabola left or right. Left or right. K, up or down. Left, right. Here's, pay close attention. Wake up. Left, the symbol will be plus. Right, the symbol will be minus. Okay, so it's the opposite of what you think, okay? It's the opposite of what you think. And it's inside the parentheses. So looking down, find a parentheses. Here's one. Okay. H, K. H is 5. So we say that the parent function was translated 5 units. Okay, look at your symbol. It's plus. Look back at your notes. Left. Five units left. Okay? Next parameter. A. A will either be, let me write it over here. A is either going to be a vertical stretch or A will be a vertical compression stretch the quadratic or the graph will appear to be narrow compression the graph will appear 
to be wider because all the y values are getting multiplied by a scale factor of a whereas here all the y values are getting multiplied by the scale vector of a well how do we know when it's a stretch or a compression to know it's a stretch your a value is going to be greater than 1. It's a compression if A falls between negative 1, greater than negative 1, but smaller than 1. All right, let's take a look. Let's look at number 1. Here's your A value. Okay, it's the number three. Don't mind the negative right now. We'll talk about that in a little bit. The A value, is it greater than one? Or is it between negative one and one? Three. Yes, it's greater than one. So we have a vertical stretch. Okay, now let's talk about if the A is negative, okay? Let's go off here to the side and write down what that means. If A is negative, okay, the graph is reflected over the x-axis. Okay, so what that means is that if we have a quadratic opening up, if, there, if we apply a negative to the a value, we then have a quadratic opening down. It's a reflection. Now, if it starts off opening down and you apply a negative, it will then open up. Okay, so take a look at number one again. We have a negative. So then we would say reflected over the x-axis. Now, another uh, ge geometric word for vertical stretch is also known as dilated. Okay, so I want you to go through 1 through 6 and write down the transformations that you see. Let's take a look at number part 2. Part 2. Write an equation for each graph below. Each graph is a relative of the quadratic parent function, y equals x squared. So first of all, we need to compare all of these graphs to the parent. So what does that parent look like? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put the parent on this graph right here. The parent function, the parent quadratic function, has a vertex at 0, 0. And the A value is 1, so we would go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, because a quadratic, a parabola is symmetrical. So the A value is this distance right here. You go over 1, up 1. If the A value was 2, we would go over 1 up 2 over 1 up 2 and we would have a vertical stretch so this is kind of like what it looks like so another way to look at this is if I plug in 1 1 squared is 1 if I plug in if I go 2 units 2 squared is 4 1 2 3 4 symmetrical so 2 1 2 3 4 and this is our parent. 
Now, if it helps you to draw this parent in each time, go for it. Okay? Vikings are going to the Super Bowl. I'm telling you right now. All right, so the vertex got moved. One, two, three units up. So remember, up is plus. Okay, up is plus. So we're going to take the parent and we're going to add three because the vertex shifted up one, two, three. It did, and, and there we are. We're right on the new graph. We did not shift left. We did not shift right. We just shifted three units up. Okay. Now let's check the A value. If I go over one, one squared, one. There we are. We're right on the graph. So the A value is still one. Again, if you go over one, one squared is one. So you go up one, and there you are. Okay, so this is going to be the equation for this graph. Let's take a look at the next one. Remember the parent starts here at zero, zero. Did the parent get shifted up or down? No, it got shifted to the right. How many units? One. It got shifted to the right one unit. Okay, so look up here. To the right. Okay, one unit, and it's minus. And remember, we're inside the parentheses, so we're going to do x minus 1, and the square goes on the outside. Don't forget your y equals on the front. So it got shifted one unit over. Now let's test to see if the a value is 1. So we go over 1, 1 squared is... 1. So we're back on the parabola. So the A value is, is 1, so we don't have to put a number here. Did it get shifted up or down? Nope. So there's your equation. Let's take a look at number 9. All right. Did the vertex move? No. That means that H, it did not shift left or right, so H is 0. It did not move. It did not go up or down, so that's 0. Okay, so we don't have to put any numbers in here. But look at the A value. What do you think? Does that appear to be narrower or wider than the parent? Hopefully you said narrower. Narrower. So let's go up here. Narrower is going to be a vertical stretch. Wider will be a vertical compression. So we have a vertical stretch. Let's find out how much. So we went over 1. 1 squared is 1. Notice we're not on the graph at 1. If I go up 2, not quite on the graph. If I go up 3, bingo. So the A value is 1, 2, 3. The A value is 3. So we're going to do y equals 3 x squared. Notice I didn't put an h value in and I did not put a k value in because the vertex did not move. Okay, I think that's enough for your brains to digest for today. So I'm going to do a part two on this, but I'm not going to do it until next week. So please do your best to finish this front side for Wednesday. Thanks. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Go Vikings, go.